Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add borders. Uh, we looked in a previous video how, how you added a border to a image and how you could create these rounded corners as well. Uh, I'm just going to look at borders on div. So I want some lines to split up this page layout that we've got here at the moment to create different sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this navigation bar. I know that I've got a div here called navigation and I know that I've got an ID for that div over here which is called navigation. So if I select that one what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down and add a border to it. So by selecting this option here, I can add border properties. Now you can add a border all the way around. So this will apply to all sides. You can apply it to just the top, just the right, the bottom or the, the left. No, I just want to apply it to the bottom on this particular one and I need to set a width. So I'm going to go for a thin border. You can set a pixel value if you want to set five pixels or four pixels, you can do that. But I'm just going to go for thin. The style, I want it to be solid. You must always set all three of these. So you can't just set one, you must set all three. The color I'm gonna go for our light gray to fit in with our color scheme that we're using. So CCC, what you'll see, it creates this thin border across the bottom of my navigation bar. So that's right at the bottom. Uh, and that's just splits off the navigation bar from there. Okay, the next one to do is the left div. So I just need to find hashtag left and now do the right hand side border for this one so on here I need to go to right hand side border again set that to be thin and then of course to make it solid and then of course to go for the color which is going to be our CCC and then just click off anywhere and you can see it's now sort of put a border down that side as well if your text was going right up to the edges here you could always go into that div and tell it that it needs to have some padding and that would push the text further away uh, but we've set our padding already on the paragraph uh, tag for these bits of text okay so there's that done uh, I think what I want to do now is do the footer down the bottom here so I need to come down and pick up my footer div so there it is there and this time it's going to be border top so again it's going to be thin and it's going to be the style is going to be solid and then of course the color is going to be that CCC okay and there we go so now I have a border that goes across the bottom there and you can see the way that that's working Okay, so some of the text looks a little bit, now you put borders on, you end up seeing a few issues, like I'd like these headings to be a little bit further down. Uh, they're a bit too close to the top of that line there. So I know that they're both H3 tags. So I know that if I come into my H3 tag uh, here, I can come in and I can say, actually what I wanna do is increase the space between you guys and, and the top of that uh, div. So I know that that is going to be the margin property. So I can come to margin top here, and it was previously set to zero pixels. I can say, actually, I want you to be, for example, 10 pixels, and it will just push those two headings down. So because it's pushed the two headings down, it's also pushed down uh, the rest of the content on the page as well. Same here with this one. I know this is a H5. So if I come down here to H5, I can set that to have a margin top of zero. Now you might be thinking, well, how did you put that one to zero? How, why has that one brought it closer? It's because there was a default margin already applied to the H5 tag, and I hadn't removed the default margin by specifying it to be zero. And you can see it's closed the gap up there. So if we now just preview in a browser this page, so we'll just quickly save it, save the style sheet where we've been making the changes. And what we can do is we can just have a look at the page here and you can now see how these borders create these kind of container areas that we have on our page. Let's just make our browser a little bit smaller so you can see it all. There you go, it creates those sort of container areas on the page and splits the content up. So that's a nice way to add borders to your pages.